Hello guys, welcome back to the Tinker Cave. Today we have a small battle. We have a battle of the Prusai 3 Mark II S against the Hypercube. So how to compare those two different printers? One you can buy and assemble. The other one you have to fully assemble yourself, to print your own parts, to configure it on your own. You have different hardware. Let's make it quick. Let's compare print quality and the ease of use of both, both printers. For this I used Cura 2.6 I think. So I didn't use the Prusa uh, control or the Prusa slicer or slick VR, however you want to call it. I used uh, three models. The first model is the little Marvin of 3D hubs printed in 0.1 millimeter layer height. Then the classic Banshee 0.2 millimeters. And finally, maximum scaled Charmander. This one is 325%, I think, on the Hypercube. And on the Prusa, on the Prusa we have. 375%. So let's go through the models. As you can already see, on the Hypercube I have a lot more prints. Why do I have more prints on the Hypercube? Well, I had to switch settings between the prints. Either I had to tweak the temperature or the retraction, and this took me. <laughs> four tries for each model except for the Charmander. So first of all let's dive into the little Marvin. Let's see where the four models are. I try to give you impression of the prints by sliding in some pictures around here. So four models. The issue was I had stringing and the first model I had some under extrusion uh, in the top area. Second model also a huge under extrusion as you can see on the picture. Third model again with higher temperature and lower retraction. Uh, also stringing and then fine adjustment on the temperature. I think this was 205 degrees and 2 millimeter retraction settings. The print came out actually quite good. Same for the Banshee. Four tries, one failure, two times with uh, a lot of stringing and the final print uh, also had some string, so I couldn't erase the stringing. You can do it with more time and more uh, patience. I didn't have the patience uh, to finalize the quality of the model, but I think you can get the point here. You have to tweak the settings between every print. And then the Charmander, which came out quite good for its size, except for the uh, also stringing issue on the backside, which you can actually remove, so then you will have smooth surface. But what you can't really remove is also two layers with uh, under extrusions, the layer are, aren't fused together. So I also think this might uh, be caused by high retraction and the high temperature. Overall the print quality is pretty good for a self-assembled printer I think. Um, check out the pictures. And let's go to the Prusa. So three models on the Prusa. Also Charmander, Banshee and the little Marvin. The Marvin came out quite good. It also had a little defect, but it didn't bother me too much. Um, I think this would also need some minor tweaking and some time. I didn't have time. So quality good, also minor defect. The next model is the Benchy. I have nothing to say about this Benchy because it's simply perfect. Maybe this printer is made to print Benchies, I don't know. Uh, it can handle this model in every variation uh, pretty damn good. 
And at last, there is the uh, giant Charmander. Uh, it has one small issue. You can see the seam uh, on the tail, but that's about everything. Um, I think the pictures uh, speak for themselves. Uh, the quality of the sprint is amazing. You can almost see, uh, you can almost not see the layers. Um, I cannot really complain about this quality. So this was a quick and rough impression for you about the Prusa uh, versus the Hypercube. Both printers are good in their own way. And uh, I can fully recommend the Prusa to anyone who wants to print models, who wants to throw a model into the slicer and uh, get good quality. And I can recommend uh, building a hypercube out of your cheap Chinese printer uh, if you want to learn something about 3D printing and if you want to learn something about parameters because you learn a lot about parameters by tweaking your models, your uh, G-code files and your prints. So for me the winner still is the, uh, the Prusa, not the hypercube, the Prusa because of the ease of use and the awesome print quality. Guys, uh, I want to thank you uh, for watching this video. I hope you found this a little bit interesting, this little view on uh, the handle of the both printers, the print quality and the ease of use. As always, I want to thank you again. Uh, if you liked this video, you can give me a thumbs up and you can subscribe and watch all of my other videos. I wish you a good day and goodbye, guys.